We're live. Oh, we're live on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Uh, welcome to the first live show. Little half hour introduction. See how we get on. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> um, right, okay. As you know, some of you do, some of you don't. I'm James from Mail Out of Apes, one of the group sponsors. Uh, you get a nice 5% discount. Um, I just sort of basically try and bring the latest products to the group, do giveaways, try and help everybody out. And uh, I'll pass it on to Alex to introduce himself. Hello. I'm Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Magpie of the group, I guess, as dubbed. Um, and I did promise a giveaway, so I'll do that while I'm introducing myself because that's easier. Um, so we're giving away the Essentials Pack from Beard Vape. Now, being me, I asked for 6 milligram. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit strong, but wake you up in the morning. Uh, what's it got? I haven't even looked at this. Morning is lemon drizzled dosant, whatever the hell that is in French. Uh, what else have we got? For the afternoon, you got a mojito, which is nice. I've tried that one. That was the one that I liked. And for your nighttime vape, red velvet cupcake. So sounds nice. So the way you are gonna win this is quite simply just commenting on the YouTube stream. Uh, we'll go through and basically just ask us some questions. We've got somebody who's going to read the questions to us so we know what you guys are saying. And best question gets it. Uh, we'll look at it later on tonight and then I will post it out in the morning to the winner. Um, but we'll let you know beforehand so you can give me a address. <coughs> That's cool. Um, so I should probably go through what I'm vaping quickly. Uh, got an endless with a theorem on it. Um, it's quite cool. Works quite well. And uh, got <coughs> you've probably seen this in videos. My trusty E Fusion with a fat boy Cleto and uh, custom Vince's tip, which arrived today. So that's lucky. That came just in time for this. It works well. And then you can go. <laughs> Just go nuts with both. Tastes really good. I've got the same juice in both. Uh, vaping my own home brew, Dragon's Blood, which is uh, David's favourite, so I know he's jealous right now because there's some in here and he hasn't got any. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, so that's probably it from me. So I'll, I'll just pass you on to uh, who's next and next to me. That would be uh, David. Hello. I'm David, the admin of Vape Riches. Um, according to Alex, I'm the model. So, modeling the gear. Vape Riches attire. Um, currently vaping on the Dylan Cuboid uh, using some Chain Vapes Mama's Milk. Really nice stuff. We'll be talking about this in a bit. I'm uh, also using my trusted Cool Fire. With a fat boy clear tank and uh, with some red mist. So, yeah, that's about all I can tell you, really. So, I'll pass it over to uh, Justin. Hello, guys. As you, as you know, I'm also admin, depending on the ask one from Plymouth. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll. I'm vaping me old uh, the trusty cricket, which has got some uh, nice little customization on there. It's got to be done. And also, I've got to be uh, on the old Vapor Max with the moon shot. Also got to be done. And giving it a go, I've got some uh, Enjoy the Clouds apple pie. And then beside that, We've got to have the trusty, obviously, the Riches Toucaner and the Lemon Delights, James's own special. <laughs> very, very nice. I've got to admit, both of these are very nice. I don't buy premium a lot, but these are very worth the money. Um, other than that, 
not really much more to say uh, other than very very soon I'm trying to work out how we're going to do it but we are, we'll be pumping in some uh, live one on one tutorials on building coils trying to work out how to make it a bit simpler for you guys that are uh, starting off or more advanced I don't want four or five people to be watching the screen at the same time if you've not quite caught up on a twisted or a clap done so coming soon guys coming very very soon <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll hand it back to James I think uh, as he's volunteered to be the host this evening huh. yeah I was kind of <laughs> volunteered by the rest of the guys to be the host tonight so uh, let's see how we get on um, right okay I didn't say so what I'm vaping on tonight is the cuboid with the iJoy Reaper Plus good because the coils take high wattage so this is at like 80 watts uh, the MX with the indestructible with a nichrome build in it and I will be using soon the Pico the iStick Pico and the Theorem but first as the Theorem's new and a lot of you guys are going to look at getting it I thought I'd show you how to set it up because when it comes the theorem comes like this. Now it looks like it's absolutely chocked full of wick. Now if you just filled that with juice, it's not going to wick properly, you're going to get dry hits, and you're going to think the tank's rubbish, and you're not going to get the most out of it. So, what you guys need to do is, when you get it, pull your wicks out, like this, drop them down, and then snip them, about halfway down the tank. Snip them off, both even on each side. That's not even that side. Okay, so you end up with it looking something about there. Then all you need to do is take something and just sort of just pull the cotton a little bit, something like an Allen key or something that's a bit sharp. Just fluff the cotton up a bit, just to get it so it wicks nice and easy. <coughs> and then again, just take your scissors again and just trim it off, nice and flush. You go like this. Take your glass, slide it over the top, you end up like that. They're a tiny bit long maybe, but the way we've done it, it's, uh, it's only a quick demo, so just so you can see that there. And then the filling, it's, it's the filling's the simple bit, so we're going to pop this on the tank, the tank on the, uh, on the Pico, and we're going to use some uh, Kilo fruit whip tonight, and uh, in this in this tank in the top, you got the coil on one side, and then there's a big hole at the bottom there. So you literally just put your dropper in, and a couple of squirts, fill it up as best you can. One more. And then you want to treat it a bit like a, an RDA as well. You just want to paint your juice across the coil and across the top of the cotton. Nice and easy. Now once you've done that, then you need to take the, uh, the little Allen key that comes with it and just on the sides of the cotton, you just want to poke it in. It's a bit tough for you to see here, guys, but... You just want to go down the side of the cotton where it comes up, either side of it. Just give it a little poke down either side. And all that does is it just lets the air out of the tank. So it helps it wick a lot better. Once you've done that, you take your cap. This is just on the single airflow as you get it out of the box. Pop it on. And that's it. That's you done. So within what? 
there'll be two or three minutes there. We've gone from out the box to ready to go. <laughs> and of course, for some reason, it's coming up atomizer low. <laughs> So, okay, I think all that is is just I've moved the coil while I've been doing this. And it's probably just touching the sides. To be fair, I would say the... Uh, <clears throat> because they're spot welded, the coils, they are a bit fragile. You need to be careful with them. Yeah, that's very true. It's very true. Although they are very easy to re-wick. <laughs> right, okay, so it was just a case of like I was just touching touching the side there. Another thing I'll say about these tanks is on power mode, they need to stay around 40 watts. Anything more than that with these tanks and you get a dry hit. So we're going to rate this in stainless steel temperature control, 50 watts. We'll put it up to 480 and hope we don't get a dry hit. No, I'm joking. <laughs> now, obviously, these tanks aren't massive cloud chasing tanks, but flavor wise, I don't think I've made a tank that beats it, that's for sure. No, flavor wise, on that, you can't beat it. The Pico as well, actually, is a great little single battery mode. I mean, if you look at something like the Cuboid, there's a size difference there with the Thera mode. That's something you can put in your pocket, no worries. Maybe carry an extra battery if you need to. But a great little stealth mode. It's, in fact, uh, I haven't got one here, but the Nugget mod is not much smaller. It's, uh, it's pretty close. Have you got any thoughts on the, uh, on the Thera Malix or David? I'll jump in on it. Um, I, I've got my theorem today, and um, I was playing around with it for quite a bit when I probably should have been working, but more important things than that. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, I mean the I'd say the the thing for me was the the restriction on power mode. So a lot of you guys probably don't know. Uh, how to use temperature control or why it even exists, what's the point of it, and it's probably because you've never ventured into it, and I've got to be honest, I haven't really either. Um, I used the Cuboid Mini the other day, uh, I did a hangout with James, and he sort of showed me how to do it, what I should be doing, and I, I didn't, uh, not for me, really. So being restricted is a bit... Mm, but having said that, you don't have to use the notch coils with the theorem. You can put your own stuff in there, and it is still a cracking tank either way. I mean, I got mine on my endless at the moment, and <laughs> vapes really, really nice. It's not a mass cloud tank, like James said. It it is a flavor tank. It's made to give you the closest to dripping possible without having to constantly. Drip it. It's, it's a big bugbear for me when I'm out and about. I don't want to drip all the time. So for me, it's a winner. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we we're only touching on this. There is so much more to it, um, and it's a really new thing. So we're going to discover new ways to get around different things as as it goes. So you can PM any one of us, um, and we'll we'll chime in and help out. I don't know, David, if you got any more on it. Um, well, yeah, um, to be fair, I've never used anything like this before. I've always stuck with, like, drippers and tanks and stuff, but this is, like, my first, I would say, it's like a Jenny in it, so it's like a Jenny style of RPA type thing. And, obviously, you know, you're a bit worried. You look at it and think, oh, God, but it was absolutely simple. Got out of the box, snipped it, did exactly what James did, Filled it up and that was it, away it's gone. And for the past two days now, I haven't put it down. And to be fair, I haven't really used anything else. My crown tank is actually been put in a box. Um, I jump on my this one every now and then just because I like the menthol flavour. But other than that, I haven't put it down. I absolutely love it. I think for the, like even a new person who wants to go into like dripping style stuff, 
this this here is absolutely perfect. Honestly, I like the notch coils. Flavor wise is amazing. I don't think there's actually anything out at the moment that can match it for flavor. So yeah, other than that, there's not much really to say. It's an awesome, awesome little thing. We're yet to try them in a drippy. That's something that's new. That's something uh, to see whether or not they can give the flavor. I did. <laughs> um, I I stuck one in my uh, uh, in my endless arty. Um not great. I uh, put a dual in and it came out at 0 0.31 somehow. I checked all the uh, all the connections and everything and it seemed to all be working. Um, but I'll show you now because I've got it. Yeah, that looks wet enough. We'll give it a go. Dry and hit my head in. It's all right, you know. It doesn't. Yeah. Alex, is that directly on the battery? Though? Yeah, that's a hybrid. Yeah. It's not. I was just wondering what, what it would be like in watch mode if you could, because point three is not going to put much. Much. I, uh, I tried it on my e fusion, uh, mm -hmm. and I cranked it up to fifty watts, and it burnt like hell. So that was enough yeah. of that for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> go back. I just go back to the theorem for that if I'm going to do it. Yeah. Um, but on a Mac, well, yeah, it's it pretty weak, isn't it? Yeah, it mm. doesn't really give out much. Uh, myself, is, is, is the, the coils are for flavour. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they're not for me. They, they wouldn't sit in my cricket very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your cloud chaser is, is, is not for you. Um, Absolutely. This is, this is this is for somebody that's want to enjoy their flavour. This is for your flavour chaser. I've, I've not got one myself yet. I ain't got one yet because James ain't sent it to me. <laughs> but yeah, it's a uh, it's down to your individual person. If you like flavour chasing, go for it. I've heard so many good things about them. Uh, yeah. A friend of mine from Plymouth has has actually got one. He was struggling a bit because he was expecting clouds, but. Sorted out because obviously you need to go for your lower wattage. I can imagine it's probably you know f from an outsider looking in on it. I would probably say it's a, a very nice warm rate with a lot of flavour. Yeah, yeah. Spot on, mate. Spot you know, on. If, yeah. if you want clouds, you need to obviously up the game for uh, something else. But for this, I would say it sounds sounds to me like flavour chasing. Yeah, it is. If, if yeah. you if you use something like the Cleto with an 0.4 cradle. It's it's similar similar sort of vape, maybe not quite as big a clouds, but the flavor's way better. You know, it's 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 one of those things. I'll I'll show you. I've got a point four in there. Yeah. So um, so that's uh fifty five watts on that. It's nice. It is nice on a zero point four cle and the Cleto has been my go to. I took it a vape jam with me. I used it all the way around vape jam. Uh, I've used it. Must have used it for the past two months prior to that. I ordered it straight from Aspire when it came out, um, and yeah, it's been my go-to. But it does not have the flavour of the theorem. It doesn't. It's nowhere near. Um, Cleto's a halfway good flavour. It is good. A lot of people I've heard saying, "Oh, the flavor's not right. The cotton makes it bad." I can't say that. I've, you know, I've tried multiple flavors on a dripper and then on the Cleto, and to me, it's, you know, it's it's not the same. But it, I, I'm not going to complain. Do you see questions? Questions I would ask as somebody that hasn't got one yet is, "What's the airflow like? Is it is the airflow is it a good flow or is it a bit restricted?" On the theorem. On the theorem, yeah. So with the theorem, you do get, bear with, let me pull it out the box for you. You get two airflow options. So you get your single, which comes pre-installed. And you also get, I don't know how well this is going to show. But you get, see the dual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can dual airflow it as well. Now, single airflow, for me, I like a really open airflow, but a single, I get on with just fine. 
if anything, it just makes you pull a bit harder, get a bit more flavor out of it. Um, and, you know, if you're going to put it on a mech, you just pull as if you normally would on a tank. And, and it comes up fine. I've, I've had nothing wrong with it. But pure flavor, you, you can't fault this thing. No, that's true. I've tried the dual airflow, and to me, it let, yeah, the airflow improves massively. But I found the flavor did dip off slightly with it having the extra extra airflow. I went back to single. I preferred it in single. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> it's just, you know, I mean, as most a lot of people know, obviously, if if you're going for the cloud, you need the air, the massive airflow to enhance it. So yeah. again, back to back to the flavor is you close off your arrows, you're going to get more flavor rather than vapor production. Yeah. yeah. The problem with pole is that with them, with them only being like, I mean, the ramp up time is stupidly fast. So 40 watt doesn't sound like a lot, but the, with the way they ramp up, it's like having a Clapton on 60, 70 watts. It's exactly the same. Um, so in a, in a good way, it saves you a lot of battery life as well. So. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll see where that's come from, because I've I can make toilet wire. I can kick at 30 watts, which will kick the same as something, for example, my Clapton's at 70 watts. Yeah. What I would say, a bit of advice for, for people who are going to go and, and get a theorem is uh, I wouldn't take too long a hit on it. I've seen people doing shots fired and they're sort of they're going on their tank for a good six, seven, eight seconds, and you cannot do that on the theorem because it you will get a burn tear. It you've got to limit it down to, you know, a three, four, five at a stretch for a hit anymore, and you just you're just pushing it too far. But you stay within the parameters of it, and you use it for the purpose it was intended for, and it was intended to be a flavor tank. It's never intended to be, you know, a, a cloud machine. So you stay with what it's meant to do. I can't fault it at all. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. See, how I think of it is, you know, the airflow at the top. If you think of the indestructible, you know you've got the top bit. Yeah. And you've got a separate ring, haven't you? Yeah. If you didn't have the holes at the side, it'll just be like the indestructible. Yeah, it would. You know what I mean? I've got it open now on both sides, the airflow. And I think that's perfect for me. I like it really airy. You know, I like a really cool vape. And that's how I think that is. It doesn't produce more cloud, per se, but it's cool, a lot cooler. Because like you said, the notch core ramps up so fast that if you, like Alex was saying, then you take too long of a draw, it just burns out too quick. And it just... No. Yeah, it's just, it struggles to wick fast enough. That's all it is. It's it's a massive coil. I mean, it's what is it? Five mil in diameter. It's nothing. You know, it's crazy big. So. Sounds like muscle to build. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't take the wattage you like, Justin. That's all. <laughs> ah, all right. Anyway, so um, we've been looking. Well, David's been looking at some photos for us today. He sent me a picture of the new smock that's coming out. Which, I have to be fair, it looks sexy as hell, to be honest. But is it as big, is it as numb as an X-Cube 2 was? Because that was a house brick. We got yeah, okay. yeah, well, basically, um, I had a little run over it and I had another check. Um, basically, it's 220 watt. It's called the Smock H-Priv. Um, weird name. I don't know why they call it that. Um, it comes in black, silver, and white. All of them... Um, you know, like the XQ2 5 button in the back, the big thing. Yeah. This is the concept. It's not as um, out, if you know. It's more behind a little bit of a casing. Each one of them have a red fire button. You don't get any of a color. The black, silver, and white all have this red fire button. Um, it comes with the TFV4 tank, um, 0 0.3 micro fuse Clapton coil, 0 0.25 micro SS dual core. Um, its resistance range is down to 0.6 and up to 3 on temperature control and 0.1 to 0.3 on variable wattage mode. Um, apparently, it's boasting that the resistance accuracy um, is that close. It's down to 0.01 the accuracy of it. Um, power range 6 watts to 220 and voltage range 
0.35 volts to 8 volts, which to me seems good. I mean, the X is really popular. I mean, a lot of people have it. So I think this one could be hit, the fact that it goes 220 volts as well. So I don't know what you guys think. Um, I don't know. I just think Smock have got a bit of a, still a bad reputation. I don't know. We stock Smock, and it is nowhere near as popular as Joytech, E-Leaf, Wismic. People seem to trust those brands. Or, or yes, I've owned the X Cube too, and I did get rid of it purely for the fact of the top screen was it wasn't up to, it would let liquid in. Uh, the, you know the, the the fire button itself didn't it, it can shoot off itself. I mean yeah yeah the presser it, it put me off the fire button put me off but the presser James is uh, special again <laughs> has a lock button on it. It's got a lock feature on it. That's that's all they needed to do on the X cube. That's and true. I would have been maybe a bit more happier with it then, but. I mean, top screen, the Vapor Max has got a top screen. But I've not, I've, well, you know, so far, I've not had any problems whatsoever about any juice going down into the screen. I mean, I've put drippers on here, I've had tanks on here, <clears throat> and it's not been a problem at all. You can tell the quality of builds. So, smocks, in my eyes, they've gone down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I. Uh... I mean, I've got. <laughs> I've got the X Cube Mini, and uh, I never went out intentionally to buy it. I just happened across a guy who'd ended up buying one when he was drunk, and his wife was giving him a bit of jet. Um, so I ended up getting like a an X Cube Mini and uh, a Ewell Crown plus a full pack of 0.25 coils. Um, some juice, other little bits and bobs that made. I think I paid about forty quid for it at the time, and the RRP on them alone was like fifty nine ninety nine. So we give it a go, you know, at that price, why not? And it gets yeah. him out of a jam. Um, <clears throat> I, I liked it. I think they did. They, they did well to make it a smaller device. Seventy five watt is a bit limiting, if I'm honest. Um, it's boxed up in the corner. I haven't touched it for months. <laughs> I, I like the concept of lights and you know all different LEDs and stuff. That's really cool, but it's a gimmick, the, isn't it? The thing with yeah. that is that it was cool, but that's that's the geek side, and you can play and, and go onto your, your your phone and you can change it and play with it when it works. Yeah, I like I like a Bluetooth app for a, a device. For me, being a bit of a nerd, I love it. Yeah. Um, but you know it's. How often did I actually use it? Maybe twice, just to make sure it was green and not any other colour. Um, <laughs> had to be green, mate. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think with Smock, I, I mean, you guys know I'm not a fan of the the TFB4 at all. I've had um, every single one they've come with, and every single one I've had has been put back in its box and on that for sale site at the top of the page. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't get on with them at all, so I, I don't know. I'd like to see them come out with something a bit different. And I know they've done like an RTA, but oh, Griffin does it, and the Billow V3 that's come out, that's exactly the same. You've got uh, the, the Gemini that's come out, so it's nothing new, nothing game changing. Not from Smart no. no, they're just following a pattern. So yeah, just doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Will I buy the new one? Probably not. Will I watch reviews on it? Yeah, of course I will. Yeah. I mean, if it's green, you'll buy it. Yeah. It'll be green. <laughs> yeah, actually, if, if it's available in green, yeah, I may as well, just to <laughs> chuck it in with the collection, but it won't last long. <laughs> Give that one a miss, I think. David, um, we mentioned tonight as well that iJoy brought out a new, a new RDTA with Limitless. Yes, they have. Um... It looks absolutely amazing. I mean, um, yeah. four mil capacity, which I think is really good. Uh, side filling, so it has two holes at the top here, like the Ajoy Reaper does. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Side filling, um, adjustable airflow, 
and this bit confused me. It's got hybrid compatible in it in cotton reservoirs. Which I have no idea what that means. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's just cotton. I think the question everybody wants to know is, does it come in green? No, it doesn't. Then no, I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> Colors that it comes in are stainless steel and black, which I think is prop is hot at the moment. Um, it's got a two-post um, velocity-style deck, so obviously easy build. Yeah. Yeah, that's it really. I think it looks really nice. Um, I think a lot of people will probably. I think a lot of people will jump on that one. Together. I'm going to jump on that one definitely. I'm going to give that a go. Yeah. Anything with Limitless has got a good chance of being a decent product, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, well, I mean, if it's like the Avocado, but with better features, it's going to be an improvement. I like the Avocado tank. I think it's good, so... Yeah. Yes, I agree there. I'm a fan of that. Although the theorem is... Uh... No, well, yeah, the theorem is good as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can about the Avocado, they're actually bringing out another one. Um, it's called the Avocado 24. Um, it comes in black stainless steel. Uh, five mil capacity. I like that. I lost it out there, but it's got a new feature because obviously everyone with the avocado knows that just like the theorem, you've got to fill it up with a back through a hole when you take yeah. the insulator. Yeah, that's a pain. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't. It has a hinge lock system, so on the side of it, it's got a little tiny hinge, flip that out, and it's got two holes at the side to fill up, which I think that's really really good, especially for people who like the avocado. I think. Yeah. You know, they've seen the design and they've changed it for the better, really. Touch wood, touch wood, hopefully um, we have them actually getting ordered this week. So hopefully by next week we should have some, hopefully. Oh, that'll be good, yeah. But, uh, yeah, and the Griffin 25 also, because we've been waiting on those. But... Yeah, Alex is waiting on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll get you eventually. Um, <clears throat> it's, um, it's not coming by Rocket Pigeon, so... <laughs> um, they, they, uh, the company involved has said it will be uh, by like the fifth of May or something. Apparently they're unaware. I don't wait for things. It doesn't happen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, I hate waiting. I can't do it. Um, over, over at Alex has paid off the postie and uh, give him a little <laughs> Christmas tip early. Do you know what? My, my, my postie. Because Alex rest. I, I think he hates me because he, he knows when I've got stuff. He knows what vape mail looks like now. I've trained him and I've done a good job. <laughs> and then he walks past and he just looks at me and he walks past and I know he's got stuff for me. He's hiding <laughs> it. And then he sort of just comes back about 20 minutes later and he's like, oh, I forgot. Yes. That's <laughs> not cool. <laughs> So. Just do the walk by. Just do the walk by. <laughs> well, he's not. He's not going to get a Christmas tip if he carries on. <laughs> but um, no red cards. So you know he's all right. He's better than some. Yeah. Look, yeah. well, other things here that I've uh, looked at, and the mostly for people who were pretty much starting out, really. Um, cool fire. Obviously, most people know by now. Were uh, the cool fire for TC hundred watt. Um. It's 3,300 milliamp battery internal, which I think is good for people who don't want to venture buying external batteries and chargers and stuff. Um, they boast it's got an Ethom TC board. It's their new temperature control board. Um, they're going to start putting it into a range of their devices, apparently. Um, it supports TI, NI, and stainless steel. Great feature, I think, is um, it's got a 2 amp quick charge. Which I think is really good. Um, and it also comes as a kit with the new tank, the I sub V, which is a three mil tank. So I think that's good for people who want to, you know, start oh, yeah. the perfect. perfect for new beginners. I mean two amp charging as well, that's brilliant. Everybody needs to be on that now. It's you know, it's old technology one amp charging. Yeah. You know, the two amp charging, you're looking at like maybe ninety minutes maximum for a full charge. I'll attest to that. My um the the vapor shark DNA I've got, which is huh, conveniently, yeah, <laughs> um, <coughs> never leaves my side. Um, this has two amp charging, so I use it with uh, like a Samsung or like an iPad plug. Any of those will do two amp. This thing, I'm not kidding you. I was going out for food last night and it was dead. I put it on charge and 
a half an hour later, I picked it up after I got ready, and it was like over halfway full, enough to keep me going in a restaurant all night. So, two amp is, is the bomb. Everybody needs to be on that. Yeah. yeah, all the companies need to be moving to that now. It's about time. Right, I've got two. I'm going through the batteries, I don't know what. I've already been through a Mac battery. <laughs> um. E-Leaf have brought out uh, an iJust 2 mini battery. Um, I know everyone actually likes the iJust 2. You know, it's simple, it's easy. Um, I see a lot of people with them. Um, it's got a 1,100 milliamp battery, and uh, the size of it surprises me. Um, its length is 61 millimeters, and the diameter is only 22 millimeter, which I think that's very small. That's tiny. You know what I mean? Too, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, just a quick easy one out and about. I think that's going to be fantastic for people like that. Yeah. Uh, and the last one is the Schmock Stick One Plus. Um, it's been out a while, but I think it's just really good for people who are starting out. Um, 2,000 milliamp battery uh, comes with a micro TFV4. I just think it's a great starter kit. You know, it's simple, it's easy, and you know, for anyone who wants to move up, you know, but doesn't want to get away from that, you know, tube style, I think it's a fantastic thing. I know James, you have one, so do I do. To... Yeah, I've got, I've got one here. Um, I'll put it up next to a cuboid, just so you can see. But you know, that's like pocket friendly, four mil tank. All right, let's not smoke the TFV4. In my opinion, the TFV4 coils and all that. I'm not a fan, but this has got the clapson coils in that are for the micro tank, and I, I quite rate them to be honest. I think they produce reasonable flavour and reasonable clouds. So you know, compared to the TFB four coils, which you need like seventy, eighty watts to get anything out of them. It's uh, I was gonna say you need a higher higher wattage to fire them tanks in it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so but I never got on with the TFB four, so there's a lot of people who love it. But again it's normally the Some people did like, oh, even myself I had problems with the TVA four. It was a lot of leakage Trying to work out how to stop it, change the O-rings. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's a lot of people know, actually TVF, about TVF, you know, it, it was designed for high power. It, it, it didn't come into a reaction until you hit it at sort of about 80 plus. Yeah. Uh, you know, and a lot of people, don't, you know, they don't like it. But for flavor wise and glow wise, it was good. It was a good tank. Right? I don't own it anymore. It says something about it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was it was not a bad time. It's just getting around the folks. Yeah. So David, have we had any viewers? Have yeah. We had any questions. Yeah, um, we do actually. Yeah, um, <laughs> a question for Mr. Moon actually. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, we've got eight viewers at the moment. So hello everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Um, it's from. Who's it from? It's from, it's from So, uh, yeah, Justin. Here we go. What's the question? Yeah, the pressure's on now, mate. Yeah. So his question is, who kicks more, his hell's gate or your cricket? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've seen this a lot. His hell's gate. You know what I mean? And you know, hell's gate. It's a fantastic mod. Um, it, it is a nice mod. Um. I mean, last night there is a video up on the page. You know, with a good build in there, you'll smash it. It got, it got me on, on a, 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 a quick just coming from work, not done a massive vape day. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, cheating it's, a bit though, isn't it? The hell's it? It's cheating a bit. It's like hitting two, two, two atties at once almost. Yeah, but then you could just go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, but yeah, the question is, depending on my build. Yeah. The answer is, depending on the build. That's a it's, chicken's answer. Yeah, it's yeah. a proper answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're a cricket man through and through. Come I on. I'm a cricket man, but I mean, you, last night, if you've seen the video, it's debatable. If you could take that cricket to bed, you would. <laughs> yeah. Tuck it in next to you, <laughs> give it its own little duvet. <laughs> 
Hey, he might just do it by now. He's got a jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's on cold days, isn't it? <laughs> can't have a scratch here getting cold now, can he? <laughs> I think he puts yeah. his batteries under enough stress to keep it warm. Probably, <laughs> 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 yeah. I've three times a day. Oh, you made him get it out now. <laughs> I'll just put my put my Mac away. Show's over. Question <laughs> <laughs> two, which, which one's going to kick? So I'm going to have to do more, more fair share with two eyes. <laughs> so, um, before Justin kills his lung, <laughs> um, what I'm going to say is um, we didn't really uh, sort of send the link out to this to uh, many groups or any groups at all except for ours. Um, <clears throat> So we will be putting the link up in other groups um, as long as they're happy to do so because they do in ours now anyway, so it should be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to I'm going to run the competition on a bit more because we're going to be putting this up on the group uh, so you guys can watch it back and I believe you guys can still comment on that while it's up. Um, so. What we'll do is, what are we today? We're Wednesday, aren't we? So we'll, we'll give it till uh, Friday night at 9 o'clock. It's a standard time. Um, and we'll we'll go through the comments then. Uh, we'll pick a winner, and then I'll send it out Saturday, ready for Monday for you, so you can have your Monday vape when you get back from work. Um, and and then we'll, we'll obviously... Do more competitions on the next videos for you yeah. guys. The yeah. next video we'll line some up sort of big. We'll do we'll do an RTA or a, an RDA and a mech or something. We'll come up with something good. Yeah. yeah. We just did this as a trial run, right? just to see how uh, what sort of a reaction we got from the members and stuff to see if it's worth doing and whether you want to keep seeing it really. So there's a few viewers we have got on there tonight. I'll I'll add to uh, Alex's juice. And uh, I'll put in my famous six <laughs> oils. Ah. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll send them off. Well, obviously, uh, when Alex picks the best comment, he can PM me your addresses and I'll send them the same time as Alex sends his juice. And what I will say, guys, is um, I mean, <clears throat> you may have all like Coil Master products and stuff at home, but. I would say Justin is probably the coil master. Um, I ain't, I ain't so. not good yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's always good if you're gonna get some of Justin's coils, you can stick that straight in a dripper. Uh, get your beard vape on there if you're brave enough to drip six. I know I do. <laughs> um, I I, be, I drip six with no issues whatsoever, but then I can only just come down from. Like, 24 <laughs> kilograms, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, or stick them in an RTA and, and vape six milligram. That's not that bad. Um, so you'll be fine on that. But what I will say is, uh, if you're watching this now, in the future, which is weird to think, um, and you're watching this back on YouTube after we've all gone to sleep or whatnot, you you may see adverts on you, and you may think, oh my God, what have they put adverts on you for? The reason we've put adverts on, and it's only small ones, is to raise capital. And the reason we're raising capital is for prizes for you guys. So everything that comes out of this, it goes straight back into a pot. And, and then we do prizes. Absolutely. So the more people that, that view this, the bigger the prizes are going to get. I mean, you're going to get up to the point, hopefully, where... You know, you're getting brand new market uh, mods that have just come on the market, and and you could be winning those just by watching our ugly mugs for a little bit. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> bear bear with us. You know, you know the group is awesome. You guys are there. You make it awesome. So we always I mean, do it. A lot of the members that's been here for a while would have seen that James gave away Vapor Max. That's just crazy because I wanted it myself. So I. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I've got another question. Uh, this okay. one is from uh, Jay Bates. He said he's looking for a new RDA and has currently has the Gemini. Any recommendations? RDA, all right. Well, I'm RDA. He said RDA. So. Well, if he's looking for an RDA, I don't know. From what I've seen, a lot of people are liking the uh, the goon. As that's a new one out. That's, nice, that's nice for building. It's, that's got a, that's the one with the six deck, isn't it? Uh, no, the goon. The, is the, uh, yeah, it's the goon. No, the goon is the one that's like um, it's almost got like just flat plates that you screw down onto your coils. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I've seen that myself. That, one, that would be great for big builds, massive builds. Yeah, yeah. It depends what you build again, really, because like for me, I always go back to my indestructible. I don't know why. It doesn't take massive builds, but I always go back to it. I like like the size of it. I like how the chuff cap is on top of it. And uh, so for me, that's been around a while. It's cheap for an authentic, you know. And if an authentic these days, you're looking at like 40, 45 quid. So yeah. for some of that's 20 quid for an authentic, and it's Wismec and J Bo. Like you said, um, it's down to it's down to what you build. If you, if you yeah, build, yeah. If, if you build your your single coils, um, Clapton's, fuse Clapton's. They'll all go in there fine. If you start going into parallels and things, it, it, the indestructible is great because it's obviously you've got your slots on the sides. You can put big builds in there. Yeah, you can. It's because obviously you've got your side slots and your middle post is, is one complete. It's got tons of airflow as well, but it doesn't have to. You know, you can turn that off. You can have it so it's just like any normal dripper, or you can have it so it literally sucks your kids in as you take a drag, you know. Yeah. You've got, I've got the, the indestructible <laughs> sat on top of my murder out now. Well, that's the tsunami, isn't it? That's, yeah. The indestructible <laughs> is here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> well, wrong one. But yeah, that's another point, actually. Though bringing that up, the tsunami is another great RDA. RDA like for for flavour, it's to be fair, actually, yeah, for flavour, it's an RDA. The tsunami, yeah. For, for, for flavour, why is it good? It depends what you want it for, and if you if you did want an RDA to replace the Gemini, because I'm not sure whether that's what he meant, but I would look at the beer if you want flavour, if you want clouds, I'd maybe look at something like the new avocado that's coming out, it's 24 mil, if you can put the builds in there, or uh, even the Griffin or the Gemini 25 millimeter versions, because they're both bigger slightly, so it can take a... A bit more build and got the airflow so you can take some hits. For the Archie, you can't miss out the moonshot. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, me and the moonshot have a love hate relationship, Justin. I cannot get that to wick properly for me. So. <laughs> oh, she's a beaut. She's lovely. For flavour, I have to say the theorem beats it. <clears throat> I think it all comes down to where you are in your in your RTA kind of. Journey sounds cheesy. Um, like someone like me who's been tank, 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 then got into dripping, and then suddenly RTA came out. And thought, oh, uh, okay. Um, you you want to go for something like like James said, like an avocado or a theorem or something like that, where it's it's really difficult to mess it up. To a degree. Yeah, yeah, I it was a nice build. It it's when the coils sit on top and your juice is below, you've just got to get the wick in right. And uh, with an avocado, it may take you three tries to get it, and you're there. Uh, whereas myself, I struggle really badly with um, with proper RTAs like your Griffin, your Gemini. I can't get the wicking down on it. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to sit down with Richie and. <laughs> work that out someday, I guess. But uh, this is yeah, with, with me, I'm on RDA all, all day long. I've got, I won't go and get my stand now, but I've got, I've got everything that James has on his site anyway. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much do. Yeah, most of <laughs> for RBAs because I, I, I'm just love dripping. Uh, my missus knows that because I drip all day long. <laughs> but um, the moonshot. 
was really, really, really nice. The Griffin was nice. The Griffin was easier to build on. Obviously, Moonshot's a bit more. Yeah, uh, it's definitely, yeah. Is it, it, you've got to get the technique and the knack to that. But definitely. when it comes to Wiccan, it's. You say, Richie, go, jump on Richie's YouTube. You know, it's yeah, I mean, very, very good insight on that. And yeah, he does. He does. Easy to follow, and it's. But I've sort of come, trying to convert to tanks. Because I, I work with uh, non vapors and they don't like me uh, blowing me clouds on my crickets. <laughs> <laughs> so I've converted to tanks, but then the moonshot is capable of, I think, if, I'm, if I can remember correctly, it goes up to 200 watts. It does. It's capable it does. of taking any build up to 200 watts. I've got one on 52 watts at the moment on the MX. That's one thing on the moonshot I noticed. You can turn it up and it doesn't know. You don't notice it really. You don't. It's just warm. Even though it's stubby, and I'll give her a shout out because she she gave me a shout out. Uh, Kizzy from uh, over at approved, but um, she calls it the moon pig. Don't know why. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all stumpy. She calls it the moon pig. <coughs> right. I've still got to get to the bottom of that, but <laughs> but it's because it's. It, I would expect it to have been a really hot, warm rate because yeah. it's so close. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not. I don't it's know how it's the design, but, which is credit to them, but I just never got on with the wiki. And a lot of people have the same problem from what I've heard. So a, a, Once you crack a, that, you've made it. <laughs> a quick tip on the wiki, then, on a quick tip. It's the same as the avocado. It's, it's, you've got to allow airflow to be able to get to it. So when you put it down through your juice holes, you've got to have it nice and thin so that air can still travel upwards. Yeah, yeah. So That's probably where I go wrong. Just, I'm going to... Sort of snip it. I'll, I'll snip it at an angle. I'm just dropping it down, literally sort of a, a mill on the line inside. Just literally... Yeah. Just just drop it into it. You don't. A lot of people were making mistakes with. Oh, I done it myself when I went to tanks or RTAs. Is that you think that it's still going to hit the bottom of the deck? It doesn't. Yeah. Because because you're getting bottom juice supply. <clears throat> it's, you need the it's constantly in the tank. It doesn't have to be at the bottom of the tank. I, I made mine too long and then it leaked and then I, well, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> but then I watched Richie's review and I thought, oh, that was easy. And away I went. I'm going to jump in quickly, guys. Uh, David Richards jumped on our page, asked. Um, he's on Mail Order Vapes. He's not really into building. He's trying to get into it. So uh, RDA. I know we touched on it with the tsunami and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> he's looking for something that he can build on. So I'm just going to straight out say and go tsunami. I think, I, I think the tsunami, because it's got the same deck as the Griffin, pretty much. It's you, you can't really mess up. The deck is so easy to build on. Um, yeah. I don't think there's any that are easier to build on. The tsunami as well. Yeah, the flavour on the tsunami is is amazing. It's basically a Kennedy, which is renowned for its flavour, but with a Griffin deck, which is renowned for its ease of build. So definitely tsunami. <laughs> I'd, I'd chuck in there and say the the Dodge is quite good. Um, I haven't actually used it because I only received it today. But uh, James was kind enough to keep a green one for me. Um, but that's that's a four-post deck. Which it's, is, it's, if I if I have to pick one, I've, I mean, I've got more. I've got the Tesla Clapton. I've got the Black Widow. If you like whistling, you go for the Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> that's some crazy little thing, I guess. <laughs> um, but I've, I'm sure, James, have you, you put up the Vision clone, haven't you? The, oh, yeah, the, um, the Velocity. Yeah, the double, you put up the double, double Vision and... Uh, the Double Vision, yeah, we're out of stock on the Double Vision at the minute, though. But, yeah, we do, we do get that in, yes. That and also the Twisted Message. Yeah, well, yeah, that's another one. We we don't stock that, but the Twisted Messes is a fairly <laughs> heavy one. Yeah. Well, I've asked about the Twisted Messes too, and it's it's nice for flavour. Um, it's got a tight draw. Well, I don't say tight draw, but it's not airy, airy. But um, the actual 
build deck on it is simple. It's really easy. I like the fact that it's like two, it's pretty much like two negative posts, you know, the square blocks. And I just find it simple, easy, and flavors great on it. It's, an, it's really, really good. Yeah. It's a double visual and it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, 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 I've got both. I've got the Twisted Message and the Double Vision. Um, double Vision being a, a nice birthday present from the boys. <laughs> but it's great to build on. It's got a deep deck. It, it takes a lot of juice. and it, I won't say cabbage, but uh, I could probably teach my uh, 12 year old boy to, to build on it. Is that easy? Yeah. Velocity is another good one, but yeah, we stopped that. We've done any of them. It depends. I suppose it depends where you're at in your journey. If you've never used a tripper before in your life, I would say look at either the velocity <laughs> or the tsunami, both because they're just so easy to build on. The velocity, maybe you just use it because it's got a nice deep juice well and you can just drop your juice straight down the middle of it. The tsunami, if you put a little too much in, you can get a little bit of Because of the bottom airflow. Yeah, because of the bottom airflow, you can get a little bit of leaking. And the adjustability of the airflow and the velocity as well, actually, that's, uh, you can go from nothing to like a dice. That's, it's a very versatile all around. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter where you're at in your vaping journey there with the velocity. Anyone can use that, whether you're a pro or a beginner. Yeah. That was my first idea with the bossy. That's becoming a thing now, isn't it? Just vaping journey. Everyone's on that now. Well, we going to start I mean, look at us all. First, I started on the Ego pens, and then I think my next one that I moved to, and I never, I never really used the net, but I went to an ice stick 50 watt with a Kanga Subtype Mini. And even from the pens, from the petrol station style ones, to that was a huge jump. And you were like, wow, what have I been missing here? <laughs> you know, it made quitting fags so much easier being on, on the sub all the time. I think I was trying to think what my first actual mod, my first actual mod was, uh, no, one wasn't a It was the Pegasus. Oh, from Aspire, yeah? Yeah, I went for the Aspire Pegasus, and I, I had the Aspire tank, which I will not throw away. I still have it. <laughs> I still have Atlantis, the original Atlantis tank. I think my my first setup, same as James, I started on um, an Ego pen. My dad, uh, I'm going to curse here and say, he took me to uh, Totally Wicked. Uh, they had a, a guy in a market store in Chester. I know, yeah. Oof. Um, and he set me up for the grand price of about 50 quid. <laughs> I know. Um, to an ego pen with some liquids, and I got into it that way. And then I gave up. And I came back, and then I went to the, the Cool Fire Grenade. And I felt oh, like man. an absolute boss holding a grenade <laughs> everywhere. Um, until I was informed you probably shouldn't take that on a plane to America and if it's, I had to change it. Um, and then my first like sub ohm was the, the iStick 50 watt, um, which I still have to this day in a box. See, me, my first one, um, like your dad got you into yours, Alex. Uh, my mum actually got me into it. She actually quit smoking and started using the old ego style and all that. And she let me have a little go of it. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is better than a fag. You know what I mean? It's nice. It feels good. So I bought one myself. Uh, I used that for ages, you know, obviously just coming off smoking and that. It was great. And then uh, I think the next one after that, I started moving on to, like, the K1. Uh, Spire K1 glassomizer thing and with the bottom BVT coils and stuff yeah. and that was great for me it was really really good there and then uh, I bought a second hand the uh, Schmock M80 with the uh, Atlantis tank and that was my first proper sub on tank and um, it was a nightmare because obviously as all you guys know I'm pretty much the newbie of the group moving up on my vaping journey and uh, yeah I, I think it was great um I still got the tank. I never use it, um, but I still got a tank. But my Schmock M80, I know a lot of people say they're bad and everything, but it's still going strong. It's 
you know, I can't fault it. It's my go-to thing when I'm doing builds and all that. Um, I think the old three lot is great and stuff like. And then now, as you can see, I've moved up to like crowns, creators. Your mech mods now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've moved up, and you know, it's a lot of people. I think a lot of people find it scary. You know what I mean? You see yeah. all these people with these crazy mods, and you know doing all these big clouds and that, it's how I see it is whatever you're comfortable with. Move at your pace. You know, don't feel you have to jump straight into sub -owing. Stick no, with what you ask. find good. Same as, same as David done. Ask. If you're not sure, ask. David got to his stage by asking questions. No question is silly at all. If no. anybody says a question is silly, then they're stupid for... Don't even bother commenting. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You, everybody's got to learn somewhere. Even I tough up James or, you know, ask about battery safety. If, always, if you double check and ask questions, you will get correct answers. You know, and, and answers that will help you along your way. If you jump straight into a mech mod and just listen to what everybody says on Facebook, it's not, not every answer is always right. But obviously, with safety wise, you know, if if we, if we uh, I was going to swear then, but I'm not allowed to swear. <laughs> but if we mess up, see, I'm, going, I'm doing good. If we mess up, then, you know, we're not going to give you the uh, correct answers unless we've checked between ourselves. Yeah. You know, if someone asks me about uh, a battery safety or something, James is our battery man. You know, I'll always check with James first. There's nothing James will sell on the site that he hasn't already tested himself. True. And, and used himself to, to clarify quality, you know, and it's down to maxim things. When it comes to battery safety, I always, always got to run back. I'm clued up. I'm, I'm, I'm an ex I class myself an experienced builder. I make my own coils, um, battery safety, but I'll still check. If somebody asks me a question and I'm not 100%, I will check with one of the guys beforehand, before I can answer it. I won't give a direct answer unless I know the positive answer to it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. You know, it does. I think the scariest thing for me when I switched was probably jumping from built-in batteries where I felt safe to jump into the single 18650s with a charger and all that. I think that's the biggest jump a lot of people are scared of. They all think it's going to blow up. And it's not. As long as you treat your batteries with, you know, with care, make sure your wraps aren't damaged, and you're not putting stupid builds on. If you're just running them on a tank, in a in a regulated mod, you're pretty much safe as houses. As long as your batteries aren't damaged, you know. And if they are, a rewrap is so easy to do. We'll do a video on that in one of the new live shows because it's so simple. I remember my my when I got uh, first Mac mod. Um, what I class as a Mac mod. Um, what I didn't know was a year and a half ago I was using Vamos and stuff with the, the mech versions and just flinging batteries in, not even checking them. <laughs> like now and I look back and I think, crap, I could have blown myself. And I, I didn't do battery safety back then because nobody knew about it, nobody talked about it. That's true. Um, Facebook groups like for vaping just didn't exist. You had forums and you had to register and it was a lot of work. So... Uh, yeah, that's a scary thought. But when I first use a Mac, um, and, and uh, now I look back at it, the, the 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 build that I had in it was safe as houses, well within the limits. Um, but I, I held it away from myself. I was touching the button with a different hand in case it exploded. Like we all done it. I've done it when I first got a cricket. I had a little wand and I pushed it and I threw it across the room. <laughs> I'll admit that. My brother, my, my little brother was with me, and I went with a little wand, with the kids' wands, pushing the button there. But you, you get used to it. Like, I said, like we all said, you know, if you stay safe, a yeah. cricket, for example, yes, they give you a lower um, output of what they're capable of doing, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you're an experience of A, building your own coils, because... Yeah. I, I could quite happily make a set of coils. I can't guarantee that Tom, you fitted them, that they're going to come out with the ohms that I know they would come out of if I fitted them. If that makes sense. So yeah, you could, even buying pre-made coils that are supposed to be, uh, for example, 0.5, um, everybody installs differently. So your 0.5 can jump 
down or up, depending on how you're wicking yeah. it and how. Yeah, okay. So I would say if you stick to a 0.5 build on a cricket, then you, you're safe for yeah. a drop down and a drop upwards. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The cricket is, I mean, people are afraid of it, but. As long as you build within its limits, you know, if you start at 0 0.6, 0 0.5, around there, you, you know you're safe, you know, that's going to pull, a 0 0.5 will pull roughly about 14 point something amps. Yeah. As long as you've got 20 amp batteries in, you're safe. You know, those batteries are rated at that rating on a continuous pull, you're not doing that. You're only doing a pulse. So, and if, if you're unsure, it's, it's, it's like, you know, James wouldn't sell the cricket. He wouldn't sell... I got, I got the cricket. Um, James wouldn't sell the cricket unless he knew you were absolutely safe with it. This That's is why right. James is put into the HB twos as as a package. Yeah, now, I mean, we've a lot got... of people don't like that. <laughs> it's we... a safety package. It's a safety point. I mean, we've got crickets in stock still, but we've taken them off the site because we haven't got the batteries in at the minute. This is it. It's, it's, it's just a safety. safety... Aspect. You know, we want people to be safe as possible. We don't want anybody to go, oh, I bought this from here and it went bang. <laughs> I would I would jump in on that and I say that I use uh, HP twos, so even when I'm vaping on my my Theorem, which that would run on you know 25R or 30Qs or uh, HG twos, HG fours, I still use a HP two because it's in a Mac, and that's my, that's my comfort zone. I know it'll handle it. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's where I stay. I think if you're gonna run a Mac. You 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 just you pick up some HP twos. It's it's not worth piss ass in. I swore, sorry. Um, over the price. I was being good. <laughs> um, it, it's not worth it. I mean, uh, you guys, you spend hundreds of pounds on mods. What is a tenner on batteries? You know, no. just I don't know the exact cost, James. I may have done you up a few quid there. Um, no, no, <laughs> but. Um, in fact, they're cheaper when you use the discount code. <laughs> Damn it. But HP2s all day long, you load them in the Mac, you're good to go. And while we're talking about Macs, I will just give Paul at Shady Vaping a quick shout out. Because um, he, he took me from start to finish buying my Endless. And I had no idea what I was doing, how to do it. Um, but yeah, if, if you want an Endless, which in my opinion is better than a Limitless, and you want authentic, just run over there and um, talk to Paul. 90, 91 quid, I think it all came to, and it was like a single and a stacked hybrid with a, and a 510 connection, um, matching slam cap, matching uh, drip tip quality. UK made as well. Yes, UK no, made. Look, even I <laughs> use, right, and I use I met all day long, and I even I I've got HP2s <laughs> for when I try my first builds out. <laughs> yeah, but well, that's Even it. I mean, at least you know you're safe. You know, once you get more experience, you can flick to 25 hours or whatever for a bit more battery life. But just if you're just starting out, HP2s are perfect because you just know you're covered. You're safe. Nothing's going to go wrong, you know? If you're unsure, Steam Crave. Just click on Steam Crave. All you need to know is you amp into your batteries and your ohms of your core. That's all you need to know, and it, it does the rest for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I use it constantly. I'm, I, even with the guys, when they say, well, "What's this? What's what's that going to pull in?" And I'll, I'll go, to, I'll just screenshot it. Boom. <coughs> yeah. So that's uh, what's the, web, the website? Steam-engine.org, I think it is. Guys. It, yeah, yeah. Steam. Oh, I'm wow. saying Steam Crave. That's that's a mall, isn't it? That's a, that's a <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the Ar Aramizer or something like that. But yeah, so check that site out, guys. And just remember, if you uh, it's a series mod, work off. 8.4 volts, not 4.2. Yes. Right. I think uh, we, we've run well over what yeah, we're doing. Yeah, we've done an hour and more, and it's kind of like done an hour and a bit. So uh, let's, uh, let's call it a night on that. And uh, if you like the show, guys, please comment and say that you'd like to see it again, because your feedback, we're doing it for you. So we really like your feedback on this. And, uh, yeah, the next, next show we do, we'll, uh, we'll definitely do a huge thing like there we go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Yeah, no.